Um, let's talk about real estate a little bit. Okay. So I spend a lot of time on Zillow. It's like a hobby. Like every night, get right. the girls to bed. Let's see what's on Zillow. Um, Realtor.com. I mean, you name it. And it looks like for uh, outside observer, prices continue to go up. Very little inventory. Talk a little bit about the both the supply and the demand side of the coin locally and specifically in the Rock Hill market. Yeah. And what you're seeing boots on the ground every day. Yeah. So we obviously have a ton of demand mm -hmm. and that is what has caused our prices to just, I mean, absolutely go insane. I know we mentioned in the hall out there before, but it, it, it seems like, and I, and this is something I have extrapolated. So don't, <laughs> don't publish this anywhere, but. Oh, don't worry. Yeah. 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 No one will ever see this. No one will ever see this. <laughs> don't worry. Um, so in, in 20, 17 i went to new orleans to um a big kw conference right and gary keller got up there and like and that was right when things were really getting hot like 16 is when stuff really in even 15 summer of 15 things were starting to really start to take off again mm -hmm. um he put up this big chart and it was like you know essentially building up to 2008 and then we had like this fall off and then we had the build up that we were on now. And there was like this 15 to 20% equity gap between those two lines. And we'd stayed on that line until 2020. And it's been like in 18 months, we just went parabolic to pick up that 15%. Now we're seeing prices are leveling out. We're not seeing month over month return of doesn't matter. We're seeing buyers that are, you know, whether or not they're fatigued mentally or, you know, just so tired that they're saying, I'm not going to give you a no appraisal contract with $30,000 over asking price and cash on it, you know, all, mm -hmm. all that stuff. That's kind of gone away, which is really good for the market because it's not good to have a ton of people coming in and, and everything. So what we saw was, I called it the great, like the greatest time for, people that had bought a house in 2015, 2016, where you could move up into like a, a very respectable second home, long-term raise your family home mm -hmm. and have the exact same mortgage payment as you did on your, you know, what you had paid $180,000 for four years before. Mm -hmm. So people were making these equity jumps and it was fine for everyone. And the good news is, is that all the mortgages that were written at that time are not you know, we're not built on a house of cards like we were in 08. Right. Yeah. So that supply, it kind of opened people up to say, man, I can sell my house and make $65,000, go buy something bigger, better, nicer, newer, and my mortgage payment is only going to go up $65 a month because interest rates are so low. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that kind of created that demand. But there's also general demand just in – of people moving to this area. Charlotte is a huge fast growing. You probably know the real number, but I've heard like fourth or fifth fastest growing metropolitan in the country. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that, and then the supply is specifically in Rock Hill and not, this isn't really true over the whole Charlotte area, but specifically in Rock Hill, this goes back to the city leaders and the city planning. We haven't really built any new houses <laughs> we're not we're, overbuilt right we yeah. are not overbuilt mm -hmm. and as much as everyone gets on facebook and complains about traffic and why are they building this and think about how long it's going to take to the, get to the interstate when they finish this and yada 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 it could be so much worse i mean if the fact that we can ride around and even see in the city limits i mean you see swaths of land for sale still yeah. you know 20 acres 40 acres you know if that was in West Charlotte or, you know, be townhomes and God, Huntersville. Yeah. I mean, you go up there and it's like, you saw the, the people complaining about the Renaissance festival and the traffic that it caused. I don't know if you saw that on the news, but I was stuck in it. <laughs> yeah, I know we went and we got stuck <laughs> in it too. And we tried to cut through the new neighborhood that was on the backside of it. And I remember we were driving up there and I was like, I was like, either there's no rules or it's just incredibly lenient to get a master plan done here because the city of Rock Hill, this would not fly. Yeah. I and mean, you know, I mean, you, you yeah. work with planning. So. Right. Right. So it's like that has caused Rock Hill in particular to be mm -hmm. 
incredibly drastic. I, I wrote this down actually. So the average price in five years for a home in Rock Hill, 238,000 this year, as in, in December of 2021, which is the last time these are, this is from Redfin, $342,000 average price of a home. Five years. That's the gap. Yeah. So the average, the median, uh, I'm sorry, it's not average, it's median, but median home value in December of 2021 sold in, I'm sorry, this is in York County, not Rock Hill, York County in general. 342,000. Okay. But you got to think about how wide that is too. Yes, that includes Lake Wiley, but it also includes Smyrna. You know, like yeah. you have, that's a very wide range of, of wow. home sales. So um, for that to be a median price point is insane. I mean, I think Rock Hill skewed under that just because obviously Fort Mill and the Lake are going to take a little higher price point in there. Mm-hmm. Um, when I got in in 13, we used to say it, what the, the average in the MLS for a home in Rock Hill was $172,000. And now it's much closer to that $255,000. How does that track nationally? Uh, right about the same. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. So we're basically on par with national average? Yeah, we're a little, we're, and I have, and I wish I should have brought more stuff, but yeah, we, the Charlotte Metro tracked about 8% higher than that. 